Hey everyone, Carrie Kitty here. Um, I thought I would show you guys this cool video on all the different keyboard shortcuts you can use in the game. Uh, a lot of these things I didn't know about when I started playing Sims 4, and I thought it'd be really helpful to have a video that actually shows you all of these in one place. Um, so the first thing that we're going to go through is how to make an item bigger or smaller. The shortcut for this one is the square brackets. So uh, let's do that. We'll go inside the house here and then I will show you how to do that. So let's say this table here, for example, that we want to make it, we want to make it really small. So really small, you hit the left square bracket. And that's gonna make it tiny, or you can make it really big with the right square bracket. After that, you have the up and down. Go with this bottle of cleaner. So we want the bottle of cleaner to be higher up because we want to put it on this stool, let's say. So you want to click on the bottle of spray and you want to press the button nine. Nine will bring it up, zero will bring it down. So you want to bring it up, up, up until it's where you want it to be. And there you go, now it lives on the stool here. Now, what if you wanted it to be on a different spot on this counter? What if you wanted it to be, there's, I mean, there's a lot of options, but what if you wanted it to be somewhere that's not one of these options? So you can hold the alt key down and the alt key lets you free place, but not on, uh, not on an item where you're locked. So on an item where you're locked, like a counter, you still have to place it in specific spots. It won't let you just free place it like any, cause see if you hold alt here with this bench, you can free place it anywhere you'd like in the game. You could put it directly here if you wanted to, not locked to any grid. Really cool, useful thing. But when it comes to an item where you have locked spaces that you can put it in, what you have to do is you move the item out of the way. So we'll put this countertop over here. So you wanna put your item on the countertop, then you wanna move it, and then you wanna click on your item, hold the Alt key and bring it over. And now you can free place it anywhere you want. It'll be hovering, but the key to make sure that it's at the right point is to put it on the item first. So say this flower here, we put it on top of the countertop first, so that way we make sure that it's at the level we want it to be. Otherwise you have to press nine to bring it up and you might go too high, you might go too low. So put on the counter first, then hold your alt key and then bring it over and we can put it anywhere we want to. Um, so if we'll put that here and that here, and then you bring your counter back and I'm, I'm alt placing my counter as well because I want it to be in a specific spot on the floor. And now these two items are exactly where I wanted them to be. Don't like it? That's okay. Alt move your item. And then you alt place your piece again. I want this to be directly in the middle. So now when I bring my cabinet back, there we go. So now it's in the middle of the countertop instead. So that's a really, really useful one just to get placed, especially if you're putting a lot of clutter. So you have a, like a, a big bookshelf and you want to place your clutter on the bookshelf and you want to fill in all these little slate, all these little spaces in here with your clutter. Say for some reason we wanted to put, let's play play cooking thing. So we wanted to put this here and we also want this mug. And we can't put the mugs, we already have that there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the pots. We're going to alt them. We're going to alt them, put them here. We'll click on this and lock it in. Now we'll move that, we'll click on that and we'll alt pull it out. So now both of these items are floating at the right height for that shelf. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the bookshelf and then we'll bring these back with alt and we'll set them both in here beside each other. And then we'll bring the bookshelf back in here with alt and set it down. And now you have two items on the shelf. Um, that's your tip for moving things around with alt. That's one of like, like I said, that's one of the most useful items in the game. The next one I wanna show you is how to cycle through colors. This one's really, really neat when you're placing an item that has a lot of colors. It happens more with custom stuff than it's gonna happen with, I think with the Maxis items. Okay, so we'll go with this cabinet. It's got so many colors, it's a beautiful cabinet and I think it'll be our best option. See how many colors there are in here? Okay, so you could place this one down. Typically you'd place your cabinet down, you'd press your design tool up here and you would go through and pick the one you wanted and give them all a go this way. Cool. Other option for you, place it down, but don't click it. Just hover it there. And then on your numpad of your keyboard, on the right hand side, you push the up plus or the minus, and you can just super quickly cycle through all of them before you even place them down. The benefit to this is you don't have to place it and then hit the design tool and then go through and individually check each one. You can just quickly match them up as you go. You wanna check and see if this one has any that match the floor, well, nope, there's none there. There's one that's close. I think that would be the closest to this floor, but there's none that are actually the same color. Also really useful when you have things like beds. 
with the beds, it'll do the same thing. It'll still cycle through like this one here. Um, same thing, so you can just go through. And yes, there's not that many to choose from, but when you're putting it up against a wall, it's nice that you don't have to place it and then delete it and then place it and then delete it. You can just put it down, check, no, I don't like any of these colors. No, I don't like these colors. No, I'm not a fan of these. No, these ones don't really work. So it makes it a lot easier, a lot more customizable to be able to quickly go through, especially when you have so many CC items that you could spend an hour just picking a bed. This will make your game gameplay a little faster going through all your items. And then where else? Like there's so many neat choices in here here with the roof. So this one I learned recently when you're placing a roof and roofs are tricky, so it can be a little challenging. So I place this roof here and if you place the roof and then you pull it, you pull it all the way out so that it meets the other roof, you've got this weird overhang. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of the weird overhang. I mean, you could, I guess, do it with both your front and your back one and have it meet in the middle and then you'd have a, a separation there if that's what you wanted. I don't want that roof line there. So what you do is you want to put your first piece of roof down and then you put down, so you put your first piece of roof here down and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on your roof piece. We're going to duplicate the roof. So we're going to copy the roof so we have another roof piece. So with that one, we want to place that one right beside it. And now, okay, so we have the same problem. So now there's an overhang. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold, we're going to move it in with these arrows. Perfect. Now that's gone. Now, what if we wanted to move it so they one side had an overhang, but not both. So you pull this here and this is going to adjust your overhang specifically. But if you want to make it so that it adjusts just the front of the back, you're going to hold the shift key. When you hold the shift key, it moves just the one you have selected, not all of them. The benefit to that is you can change it so you have uh, say here, say this roof connected to something else and you wanted to keep an overhang on this side, but you didn't want your overhang on this side because maybe your overhangs didn't make sense to have them on both sides here. I mean, this one doesn't, it doesn't really meet in that corner all that well, but not a ton you can do about that. But say you didn't want it to be an overhang on both sides. You could hold shift. You could take your overhang away on the one side like that. And then it would leave you with just the overhang on the one side that matches. I, I usually use them on both sides, except for when you're doing a roof. It's nice here because maybe I don't want the overhang. So maybe when I put a second story in, this overhang that's on this side here, that might actually clip into the bedroom. I don't want it to clip into the bedroom because when it clips into the bedroom, you got roof sticking out of your walls. So we hold our shift button and we pull just that one in, but it still leaves the overhang on the other side. And then again here, so I have another roof here that I put underneath to create this little piece here. This one, I'm pretty sure I can just pull this way and it'll get rid of it, yeah, and then it's gone. So it's not really the same concern with this one, but we can also see if this will work. So we'll hold um, shift and we'll pull this one side in. So this one won't get any smaller. If we were to make it, we could make it bigger. So this one was already on the smaller side and we don't want to make it any smaller. Let's try this way. Yeah, so this one, this one won't get any bigger. We could do it, but we don't want to. And then that's going to be the last one I have for you guys today. So there you go. Quick and easy. And you got a whole bunch of new hotkeys that you can use to make your game that much quicker, that much easier, and that much more fun to play. Thanks for hanging out with me today. See you next time.